Greetings from Camden Yards along with John Tomasi and Michael Silverman. It's the day before opening day and uh, it's crappy weather here, but it's supposed to be much nicer tomorrow. Uh, John Lester will be taking the mound. Um, but really, in talking to the manager John Farrell today, I think as far as news goes, I think everyone's wondering about Shane Victorino and John, I don't know, what, what does your spidey sense tell you about, um, you've been around for a long time, do you think we'll see Shane Victorino tomorrow? No chance, no chance. I mean, he's back in Boston today to get an MRI, the results of which in the exam uh, he'll undergo tomorrow. So just do the math. If you're being examined in Boston tomorrow, you're probably not then hopping on a plane like Superman and flying right into the starting lineup. So I think, you know, right from day one, this has been the concern with this team. You know, it is a veteran team, it's a little bit older, our guy's going to be injured, and and we're seeing it already with Victorino. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, they just can't say it right now, but I, I'm pretty confident that right now Jackie Bradley, if he's not in the Baltimore area, in this area code, he's 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 pretty close by. He's got to be becoming available for yeah, this. Yeah, he'll just be passing through town right around game time, and maybe he can just swing by the park for nine innings. Right, it'll be a total or coincidence. Right. Yeah. Um, as far as news goes, that that's really about it. Uh, David Ortiz is fine with this calf. John Lester is going tomorrow. Um, obviously, I think everyone knows he's a very good pitcher. The, the looming question with him is his contract status that's been resolved in terms of it's not it's unresolved. So they're just going to table it for now. Do you think it's going to be a factor with him this season? Yeah, I think it's something worth watching. You know, it is worth remembering that he did pitch in a similar situation last year. It's not apples to apples, but he had that option that needed to be picked up. It was a team option. Uh, so there was some uncertainty there. You know, if he didn't pitch well, it wasn't going to be picked up. That is obviously not the same as going into a true free agent year where you could be costing yourself $150 million. I think what's fascinating about the whole thing is, you know, you look at what Max Scherzer turned down, $144 million. I think that sort of almost becomes the floor for John Lester now. And if he has a season like he did last year, that's what he's going to be in line for in the open market. Do the Red Sox want to pay it? That's what we'll find out. Be sure to click on our Red Sox stories online and also check out the printed edition.